so nate diaz and jorge masvidal had a press conference yesterday about the boxing match that they're gonna have and the streamer right here you guys are watching on the stream his name is neon and he decided to ask nate diaz a very interesting question let's go ahead and listen to what he had to say hi nice to meet you guys um this question's for nate first i just wanted to ask you two things man um first question is um who inspired you when you were, uh, you know, first up and coming when you were boxing? Who really made you want to become one of the greats? Uh, first and foremost, my brother, my big brother, was fucking doing a lot of good shit and putting me on game with a lot of people. I liked Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Ricardo Mayorga, uh, Fernando Vargas, and uh, all those guys. And uh, shit, everybody. There's too many to name. Wow, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. Uh, second question I have for you today, man, is um, when you do get knocked out, are you going to retire? Who said that? So I know who you are. Uh, or that if, little bitch boy, you fucking little pussy. Fuck. If, 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 if you do, if you do. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be watching. I just, this I'm excited to see both sides, but. It, I'm going to kick you in your fucking leg, motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, P.S., fuck you. <laughs> I, I have a lot of respect for everyone, man. It's just, I want to see a great fight. Fuck you. <laughs> he said when he get knocked out, right? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> it's little shit kids like this little bitch talking to this motherfucker that is like uh, changing the times. Need your little ass whooped. I got little girls over here that'll fuck you up. <laughs> like really there is no other way better to explain why neon got banned from the ufc is because he does stuff like this cliff farming is now a thing that is prevalent in the social media game you know for those of you guys that don't know what that is is that these guys will pretty much you know live stream what they're doing irl and then they try to find moments in the stream that'll make them go viral and this is exactly what neon was doing but you know uh nate diaz didn't take it too well apparently there is footage that i'm about to show you guys right now of neon getting jumped by nate diaz uh entourage or whatever let's go ahead and watch that clip right now look if you ask me i feel like all of that is a stunt i feel like it's not real i feel like it's just all for entertainment you know because they really didn't touch the cameraman at all right they just chase after neon you know if it was like real beef you would only imagine that they put put hands on the cameraman as well right we even had people like ariel hawani say this shit is so weak maybe i'm out of touch but this trend of planting these losers and make no mistake they are plant at pressers to disrespect fighters who are about to put their lives on the line is lame and embarrassing get these idiots out of the fight game it's all a facade and shame on those who think these stunts are a good idea pathetic and make no mistake i'm all for new media come one and all cover the sport in your own have fun do your thing but asking dumb disrespectful questions like this to fighters just to create a stupid viral moment that will do nothing to sell the fight is tired and dumb which i 100 disagree i disagree with ariel hawani 100 i feel like this clip is definitely gonna put a lot of eyes on the uh nate diaz versus jorge masvidal fight because let's just be honest man they've had like three pressers at this point and nobody freaking tunes in to watch how many people tuned in to watch the nate diaz versus masvidal uh presser even the last one where they had a whole brawl literally no one i didn't see too many people on mma youtube really even talking about it you know so maybe you know uh doing little moments like this helps sells the fight i mean i disagree with ariel hawani on this one i mean it is kind of corny at the end of the day you know uh having these streamers come through but it is what it is you know um 
it, I think it's going to help sell the fight. And at the end of the day, in my personal opinion, I just think it's not real. I think that it's all uh set up it's made up and at the end of the day this is all just for entertainment maybe a little viral clip like this gets people interested into watching the fight because from my understanding and trust me guys i wa i pay attention to the sport there's not that many people out there that cover combat sports on youtube that are even talking about nate diaz versus jorge masvidal so maybe people start uh getting a little bit more aware about this but uh yeah anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below do you guys think uh streamers coming into press conference to clip farm is corny do you guys think that it's good to promote the fight let me know what you guys think down in the comments as always it's a pleasure peace out and have a good one